Hello! Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Bella, and I'm an art therapy intern at Stony Brook Hospital. Due to the circumstances, I'm unable to be with you and do art, but I still thought that we can do this through YouTube. We can kind of work alongside each other. But before we get started on the art, I'd like us to do a little bit of a breathing exercise. So I'm going to put on some relaxing music and we're going to take some deep, big breaths with each other, okay? So when we inhale, we inhale calmness and when we exhale, we exhale stress. And when you inhale, I'd like you to count in your head to three and then the same thing goes when you exhale, try to count to five. So we're going to inhale, one, inhaling calmness, exhaling stress, one more time, inhaling calmness, exhaling stress. If you'd like to close your eyes for this activity, you can. Or if you don't feel comfortable, you can keep your eyes focused on one part of the room. Inhale calmness. Exhale stress. Now try to deep reach deep into the, your diaphragms. Inhale as big as you can kind of open up your chest and let out that energy. So we're going to inhale nice and big. Exhale. Wow, I feel a little bit better. My shoulders have relaxed a little. Hopefully yours have too. Now, to get our attention back onto the art, we're gonna be doing a cherry blossom tree today. I'm gonna be teaching you some new techniques um, and hopefully we can, you can paint alongside me or watch the video and paint afterwards, okay? So the materials that you're gonna need for today are acrylic paints, which is what I have set up for today, or if you don't have acrylics, watercolor will do just fine. Um, you will also, so you will need colors blue, pink and red, browns, black if you have, um, and that's it for the colors and any additional colors that you'd like to use as well. Um, you will also need some paint brushes and a water cup to clean out your brushes in, a palette where you can put your colors to paint on, and the most interesting art material that I have today is you'll actually need some q-tips. If you don't have some q-tips, that's okay too. You can use the same technique with a paintbrush, but with this method, I believe, q-tips are a little bit more fun. So now I'm gonna grab the camera and bring you a little bit closer and we can show you step by step how to engage in this painting. All right. jumped ahead and done already is creating a background for your tree. So where do you want your tree to be? Do you want your cherry blossom tree to be at the beach? Do you want it to be in the valley? Would you want it to be in the desert? You can use your imagination as much as you want, but I've kind of done a basic painting where I've done a blue sky, some brown mountains, and a grassy land where my tree will grow. Remember, when painting, decide where your sun is. So my sun is from this side. So as you see on this side, it's a little bit lighter. And since the sun isn't here, this side's a little bit darker. It gives, makes it everything look a little bit 3D. So now I'm gonna grab my handy dandy paintbrush 
And now we're gonna put in a happy little cherry blossom tree. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of brown and I'm just gonna go right down the middle. Don't be afraid, wherever you, wherever you wanna put it, there is no right or wrong, or we're gonna make a trunk of the tree. Okay. So nice, nice decent sized trunk. Um, maybe put a little bit of black, black and brown to make the trunk a little bit darker. But remember, black takes over the paint a lot, so just a little black goes a long way. Alright, so there we go. Now I've placed where my trunk is. And I also want to put a few branches, not too many, just to kind of see how wide I want my tree to go. Okay, so put a few branches in knowing that they're probably going to be covered a lot, a lot. Next, we're going to take a little bit of pink and a little bit of red, and you're going to put it on your painting tray. And you're going to start making the leaves or flowers on the cherry blossom tree. So as you see, we've got a lot of shades of pink going on. So when working on the top of the cherry blossom tree, start from the darkest colors first and then layer up. Okay, so we're gonna grab the little Q-tips. I recommend grabbing three at a time, pinching them together, and this is gonna become your dotting tool. So you grab the colors and you go and have fun with it. You're just putting dots everywhere. Remember, first layer you want the colors to be as dark as possible, so I'm not going to add any white into them. And so I'm going to make it how wide do you want your cherry blossom tree to be? Alright, so we're just going to put a bunch of dots. Now add a little more pink into it. Now we've got that texture going of the cherry blossom. Oh, maybe you don't want your cherry blossom tree to be pink. Maybe you want it to be purple. Maybe you want yours to be, you just want to make a tree, not a cherry tree, just a regular tree. You can make them green and use the same technique to make leaves on a tree. Maybe you want an orange tree, maybe it's fall time. Take your time, there's no rush gonna keep dotting away. So after you've been using three, you want to kind of create some branches that are sticking out. So I'm gonna move to just one color, I mean one q-tip, and we're gonna make a few branches that come out. I'm running out of a little, add a little bit more red of it inside. Alright, so we're gonna add a little bit over here. These are our little branches coming out of the tree. A happy little tree, remember? There's no mistakes. And you can take your time with it. Whatever feels right. Maybe it looks completely different to mine. That's okay. With trees, branches go in all kinds of direction. Once you've kind of have that base going, you're gonna start adding lighter colors. And how do you make a lighter color? You add white to it. So I add a little white on the side. So I typically dunk my Q-tip into the white first, and then I put it into the color, and then you get a little bit of a mix. So now we're gonna add a little bit of tones. Lighter tones over here. A little bit more white over here. And now our tree is starting to come alive. All right. Now we have a problem. Our tree looks like it's going to fall over. Our tree needs some roots to be kind of be grounded into the earth and into our land. So we're gonna draw some roots. 
There's a little triangle here. Maybe there's a root behind the tree coming out. Maybe there's a little guy over here. A little one over there. Alright, what do you think? I think that looks pretty good for now. Alright, so now since the the trunk has started to dry a little bit. I'm going to make mine a little darker. Remember we said that the sun is on this side, so this side of the tree is going to be lighter, and this side of the tree is going to be just a little bit darker. So we'll add a little black into it, a little bit of brown. All right. Now our tree's starting to pop off the page and come alive. Wow. Oh, awesome job. Great. And now, as we said, the sun's coming from this side, so maybe I want to add a little bit of lighter brown on this side to kind of make it come even more alive. Look at that. But now, now I can't see any of the branches that I first drew on top of the tree, so we'll just add a few more skinny branches up in here. Maybe a twist one over here. Maybe there's one coming back around here. Kind of adding those little details. Okay, now we're gonna go back and add a little bit more white into our tree, a little bit even lighter tones into our painting on our cher cherry blossom. Don't be afraid to keep going back in. You can go in as many times as you want and add more color, cover up more branches. Whatever makes you happy and brings you joy. Okay. So, there we go. Got a little bit dark, a little bit of light. And if you want to keep grabbing a few at a time, you can always work with multiple Q-tips. All right, it's looking good. So the last step that I want to add before I let you guys go is I want to add some longer, longer grass by the root of the tree, right? We've got some growing grass at the edge of our tree, adding details to make it look like our painting, our tree, is 3D. Our tree is coming alive and we can see all sorts of details. Details bring so much fun to the painting. It's actually my favorite part, is to kind of spend time and add the little details. All right. So I think this is it for now. I will let you guys go and let you guys finish your own painting and take your time. Remember, there's no rush. This was my first one. This is my second. And as you can see, each time I do it, it's gonna come out different. Oh, look at that. In this sky, I added a little happy little cloud. Maybe you wanna add a swing set to yours or a swinging tire, tire, or maybe there's a squirrel running in the background, who knows? Let your imagination one run wild and have fun with it. So I thank you so much for joining me today for this little art activity. I hope you feel better and make the most out of your day and bring, and hopefully this art brings you a little bit of joy. Take care now, bye-bye.